Hi, and welcome back to A Monster of the Week. I am your keeper, Shivam, and I use he, him pronoun. And I will let the rest of our lovely cast of players introduce themselves, starting with Charles. Hello, my name is Charles. I go by he, him pronouns, and so does Stanley, my character. And my fun fact of the week is um, the one processed snack that Stanley uh, allows himself to eat is Tyrrell's lightly sea salted sweet potato crisps. God. Only the lightly salted ones. Only lightly salted. <laughs> Oh gosh. Very good. Oh god. Izzy? Hi, I'm Izzy. I use she they pronouns. I'll be playing Mandy, who also uses she they pronouns. Uh, fun fact for this week is Mandy's favorite snack is sun chips because they are vegan. Wow. It's a vegan? Wait, hold up. I thought they were. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, uh, yeah, but, like, sun chips in particular are, I don't know, it just implies that, like, most chips aren't vegan. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought sun chips were. Oh, God. Specifically sun chips, I know, are. But I don't know what the other ones, so that's why I said to eat those. Quit questioning my fun facts. <laughs> oh, God. Lyra? <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm Lyra, I go by she, her pronouns, and so does my character Susie. And my fun fact of the week, also snack related, because that's what we went with, is that uh, Susie's favorite snack is an Italian ice cream called uh, Coppa del Nonno, we say, which means Grandpa's Cup. And it's basically a coffee, caramel, milk, uh, chocolate. Uh, uh, ice cream and it's really good. I don't know if you have it uh, where you Dude, live. it we don't looks and I'm so good. It's it so, is good. so good. Oh my god, it, it looks is. insane. <laughs> yeah. God. <laughs> Nemo? Uh, hello, my name is Nemo. I go by here and pronouns that I play people who also does that. Uh, the fun fact for today is that People paid good money to have a chip with the face of the aliens guy chipped to him. Uh, but his mom ate it while he wasn't looking. <laughs> I, I like how it wasn't the uh, the chip that had like, or like it wasn't like just an alien symbol. It was the aliens guy. <laughs> it was the aliens guy. <laughs> oh my god. That's really good. That's why it was expensive. <laughs> Yeah. Also, I really like the uh, the characterization we're giving people as a mom here by just seeing like a single chip just like out like by itself, and she decides just to eat it. <laughs> a perfectly normal thing to do. Oh god. It's just like me. <laughs> oh no. Oh god. Oh chip. Sophie. Uh, hi, I'm Sophie. I'll be playing Pixie, and we both go by she, her pronouns. And my fact of the week is Pixie can only survive doing her homework if she has strawberry Nesquik. <laughs> I like the verb there, survive. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Very good. All right, and uh, with introductions out of the way, what happened last time? So, that's it. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Um, so what happened last time is we were still helping the girl with getting her art mural back up. Like that was like the tail end of last time or the beginning of last time. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you, you helped uh, finish up the, the mural. And then... Oh, and then homecoming week. That's what was going on. Yeah. Um, yeah. Decided to happen. Mandy gave Pixie a promposal for homecoming. Uh, so cute. Stanley decided to join football in order to ask Heather out. Um, because I guess his weird-ass corporation wanted him to. The cult. The cult. Yeah. He rolled like a, a three and got a horrible punishment. Yeah. People was running around in a Bigfoot costume dressed as a pirate, I think. <laughs> yeah, Bigfoot pirate. Yeah. 
Um, was that it? Apparently, oh yeah, he made he made good friends with uh, the football people after trying to get info on Heather, but that kind of crashed and burned, which is fine. He he's good with football people now. Um, he apparently already has a date to the dance, which shocks the shit out of me. I was like, what? Okay. Uh, and then Mandy helped Susie get a date with one of her other friends from the uh, theater club named Carlisle. <laughs> and that's all I can remember. Very normal dude. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Super, super chill, normal guy. Nothing. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, gosh. Incredible. Incredible. <laughs> but yeah. Um, as you guys are, are getting through this, uh, this spirit week, which is maybe a bit trying for some poor people rather than uh, others, <laughs> we. We come back in on uh, you guys uh, at school. Um, as he, you guys are, uh, are, are gathered uh, around for the lunch for a little bit. Um, and you have just a little bit of time just to catch up with each other and uh, figure out plans for uh, homecoming. Uh, specifically, like, transportation or anything like that. I know limos are mostly for Brom, but, like, <laughs> if you wanted to figure out how you guys are, like, setting that up <laughs> um uh P- pixie yes uh could we borrow your car again <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, yeah but i'll warn you heather can't fit in it as well uh yeah i mean we need to go pick up heather first so you know you know you remember you, you promised uh, yes but i i don't mind doing this but i definitely definitely require takeout as payment at some point. Yes, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get you takeout okay. as long as I can order it and then you pick it up. <laughs> okay. If I could like drop you off early and then Mandy, I could I could swing by and pick you up. Well, actually, is there any way I could text my mom if I could just borrow her car? And I'm assuming her car is a hearse. I was literally just about to say. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 we know where Nemo is gonna be. Uh, gonna be going. I mean, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I mean, because it's a Halloween dance, right? I think it'd be more Halloweeny if we took my mom's car. You know, show up yeah. style. <laughs> Nemo, there <laughs> are people you can't. <laughs> Just thinking. <laughs> You'll take the the your mom's car and people just. In the cast. Staying in the. No! <laughs> he's, he's stuck behind in, in Pixie's car because that's the only one he knows how to. Oh no! <laughs> oh, God. I mean, it does have a bigger boot than my one. Yeah. <laughs> he could even lay down in it. Yeah. Oh my God. He wasn't aware of the train of cars. But uh, anyway, what I was saying is, uh, we could just take my mom's car if she'll let me borrow it for that day, which, I mean, I don't think that'll be a problem, because it's my birthday and I really don't ask for much. Happy birthday. Yeah, not just, just happy birthday. It's not my birthday yet, dude. It's like the end of the week. For the future. Okay. (laughs) You could just wait. (laughs) <laughs> I think a person should be separated a week before and a week after. I don't. <laughs> I'm. I'm not. No. <laughs> One day is fine. I like the doubling down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Can't admit I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Incredible. Um. So are you going to give me a gift a week before and a week after? I'll, I'll be, I'll be uh, nice to you. Like, Holy I, shit. I want, uh, this Hell's freezing over. Who are you? With my <laughs> beloved sister. I think who, he's possessed. Yes, I am not myself, apparently. That's for sure. What is wrong anyway, with you? It's time to go hang out with my 
you hang out with them before you do this prompt? I don't know how to do this. Hang out with what? Uh, Your date? Yeah. I mean, really, the only thing you ask is, like, what kind of color coordination thing you're doing. Since it's okay. Halloween, I'm assuming, you know, like, matching costumes, or... Right. Uh, yes. Okay. I will coordinate. Uh, <clears throat> I've probably got football practice or something. Squids. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Pixie, what kind of uh, theme did you want to go for? I hadn't even given this thought. I mean, you like bats, right? You do, like, I could go like an albedo bat. And then, <gasps> and then you could go like a black bat. Like, we could wear like nice gowns, but like have little cape things we could make. I'm down. Also, your mic is like real crunchy. Crunchy? Oh. Yeah, I do it twice. It's, yeah. Mm. Wait, give me one second. But no, that sounds amazing. I love that. God. Um, Does that sound any better? Yes, there we go. Nice. Mm. Yeah, as you guys are, are, are figuring out your, your costumes for the, the weekend. Wait, um, where's Carlisle? We gotta get <laughs> yeah, everybody I'm worried about it. <laughs> okay. Also, does he drive? I'm gonna ask. Mandy. I'll pick y'all up in the hearse. <laughs> pick y'all up in the hearse. It's a lot of people. <laughs> it does. So you have the whole body back here. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> <Okay>. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, I guess you you look up Carlisle then real quick. He's probably sitting in the darkest corner of the fucking cafeteria. <laughs> and I walk over and grab him by the scruff and I pull him over to our, <laughs> our thing. You you do so as he's menacingly brooding in the corner, a cloak wrapped around himself. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um you, uh, you drag him over, he says, Ah, Susie, what serendipitous fortune to run into you again. Oh. I set him the <laughs> fuck down. <laughs> you plop him down, you see. So, how are we going to this bowl or whatever? <laughs> he, he kind of, like, uh, um, panics uh, as he says, Um, well... I, I have a uh, majestic steed, a uh, bicycle, that uh, if you're willing to sit on the back of it, I could... <laughs> I'm picking you both up in the hearse. That would be great, thank you. It's better. Yes. <laughs> oh, God. But uh, costumes for the both of us, are we both dressing up on all of this, this sacred All Hallows Eve to scare away any wayward spirits that may rise. Is he saying that out loud? <laughs> he said all of that out loud, yes. Oh my He's god. Kind of double check. <laughs> I'm like, no, don't worry. I'm, I have something in mind and I will pull you and we can, you know, assemble the outfit together. <laughs> there's still time, right? Like a few days. Yeah, there's still time. You can you you can decide whatever kind of like matching outfit you and Carlisle are going to to create. Nice. Oh god, perfect. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, as uh, you, you guys are all like sitting around, uh, you can see that like a uh, a few people that are like clearly here for the assembled like spirit week. Are, are just passing out like uh, proper like uh, flyers for like the, the dance itself. Um, and just re reminders to, to people to, you know, like uh, that to, it, is, it allowed for like them to be in costume, the exact like time and date, everything like that. Um, I'm assuming one of you grabs one of the flyers or? Sure. Yeah. Um, as with the, the flyer itself, um, 
it seems to be like a, a, a lot of different like monstrous creatures on it. There's like uh, a little cartoony like vampire. There's like a, um, a, uh, a werewolf, like a little like a Frankenstein on it. Um, and you can see like at the, the top of like the, the flyer itself, there seems to be like this strange shadowy creature that you can't really recognize. I don't know, just seems a little bit uh, out of place. It's going to be important later. Maybe, who knows? <laughs> oh, God. Um, yeah, so you just want to roll investigate uh, the mystery, or how are you trying to... Just, just... Okay, from the book that I was reading about, like, the weird creatures, could I roll with that? Like, a thought? You could roll a normal investigative mystery, yeah. Okay, what is that again? I'm sorry. Uh, that oh, is a oh, shark. Sure. Oh, did we up again? No, you didn't level up again. Okay. Sorry, I just want to be sure. Yeah. No, I got nothing. I'm just a fucking thing. Okay, I got this. That's a four. <laughs> I don't know uh, shit. No, you do not know anything uh, related. I'm more entranced by who the fuck drew this little vampire. Yeah, truly. <laughs> uh, God. Um, yeah. Um, as you guys are uh, also sitting there, um, you can uh, hear just like uh, a loud voice just booming like, all right, who's got a uh, school spirit? As you can see uh, this um, large uh, anthropomorphic porcupine, or rather someone in uh, the, the mascot outfit uh, for one, um, just come like bounding down uh, into the lunchroom, just like trying to get like high fives from people. Um, as... <laughs> God damn it, Charles. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah, but he, he he's just kind of like bounding downwards. Um as like he tries to get like a uh, high fives from like people that like sitting at like the lunch table aisles. Um a few people like kind of like a uh, deign to give him like the high fives, but like for the most part, it tends to just be people just kind of like awkwardly looking at like his enthusiasm and just kind of with uh, has a bit too much like vigor. Uh, He's doing here. his job. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah, because in high school, that's what you <laughs> that, that's what you think of is people doing their job and just kind of doing their best. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, man. Um, High school was a blur, I will admit. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what you remember from high school, at least. Yeah. Uh, God. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> he, he, like, uh, he, he bounds down uh, as uh, he says, like, Oh, what's that over there? As uh, he, he just, like, points to, like, the opposite end of the, uh, the lunchroom. Um... You can see that, like, uh, um, there is a another person inside of a, a different outfit. It appears to be that same kind of, like, weird shadowy creature you saw on the flyer that you couldn't quite recognize. <laughs> um, as he, uh, he, he goes out and says, like, oh, oh, looks like it's the Sokaneth here. Uh, as, like, uh, you can see people just kind of, like, looking, like, confused. Um, <laughs> as, uh, he, he says, like, um, now, the Sokaneth is here to make all of our, like, worst fears into reality. Um, let me spell that out real quick first. Of yeah, all. the what? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, this is, like, way beyond high school shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> God. <laughs> Um, but, but like he, he he just goes on to say like it's, it's here to make all of our like worst fears into reality as uh, he says like oh no i think he's trying to to make sure that we lose our homecoming game to our like our rivals here he tries to like uh like uh let out like a, a like start a boo uh for like the soaking in like the the crowd <laughs> i grabbed um, the knife from my fucking 
<laughs> you grabbed your knife? <laughs> from, from my, uh, what is it called? My lunch kit that's here in front of me, because we're at a cafeteria. Because I don't like, like this. Like a plastic I got, knife. <laughs> I don't give shit. It's something I can use. I'm very <laughs> sus of this shit. I don't yeah. like and it. The person in, like, the Zokanid outfit, like, it's just this weird, like, cartoonish, like, mascot outfit. Like, it looks extremely cheesy. Um... Be yeah, easy to wear. You're gonna use a name Sokinith. Like you couldn't have used the boogeyman or the bad guy. You know, no Sokinith. That no, that's sus as fuck. Especially after this, you know, couple weeks we've been through of shit. No, uh uh. Oh, I, I guess for certain, a lot they they want to go with all the like real scary stuff. It's very <laughs> elaborate for a school thing. I guess <laughs> really is. Um. But uh, as he, he goes on to, to say this, he says, like, um, now, I think we need to show, like, uh, our, our school spirit here to, to make sure that uh, the Sokineth knows that we aren't afraid of, uh, of uh, the, the, our rival school here, because we're going to beat them at the homecoming game. Um, and as he tries to, like, lead a chant of, like, go, porcupines, go, porcupines, and, again, a few people kind of, like, awkwardly, like, clap along. You can see some people from, like, the Spirit Council, like, kind of getting into it, but, like, beyond that, it's just kind of this, like, awkward, like, half-mustard chant. Um, no, and... porcupines. <laughs> <laughs> Great, thank you, people. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that's, that's not happening. <laughs> uh, avoid eye contact. I'll slap it soon. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh man. Um as he he, he goes on to, to try and like do this, um he uh says like um um alright now um as like uh he, he kinda like holds his like hands out to try and like uh do a uh whip um or a cartwheel. Um, he begins to just kind of, like, spin around, and as he does, he, uh, accidentally, like, hits his foot on, like, uh, one of, like, the lunch trays, um, as he manages to, uh, dunk himself into a, a trash can. <laughs> oh, oh, that's tragic. <laughs> this actually gets, like, a surprising, like, uh, cheer from, like, everyone, um, as uh, he, they they kind of begin to to laugh, um, as uh, he he begins to try to like free himself out from the the costume itself. Or, uh, is he actually having different. trouble, or is he is he okay? Yeah, you know what? Mm -hmm. Is he is he actually in trouble, or like does this gentleman need help getting out of the? I can assume him? he's gonna need help if this is a big chunky yeah, costume like and he's big... stuck. Yeah, go and. Uh, Get him out of there. Yeah. You 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 begin trying to, to help him out of it. Um as you like you do so, um it suddenly like the costume itself like feels heavier than uh a child. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I'm sorry. Just yeah. filled with wings. <laughs> God, I mean, yeah, they, they, it feels like heavier than like it, it should be. As you, uh, uh, we'll go ahead and roll me um, plus tough to to see if you can just kind of like yank him out. <laughs> can do this. Has to be at least make success. Oh, that's I think that's asking too much. To be fair. Come on, you got this. <laughs> you can do it. Come on, buddy. I'm believing you. No, oh. no, 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 <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, he's boy. stuck. <laughs> at least you're. That's the usual. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Who else is good at strong? So someone mm -hmm. can go help him. Yeah. Wait, am I getting help from uh, from uh, uh, Izzy, Mandy? What's, what's I, 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 I can Mandy. go. I'll get up and go try and help him. <laughs> what do I uh, gotta roll? Yeah, uh, go ahead and roll. Uh, help out. <laughs> what's that one? Uh, to do plus cool. I think. Double check. To do uh plus cool. Yeah. Have to get at least a seventy nine. Hey, I helped. Perfect. You do manage to help to turn it into a mixed success. Um, 
as you manage to yank him outside of the uh, the trash can, um, as you you do so, you can see like underneath like the costume itself, like a little bit of water just begins to like leak out from inside of like the costume, and you can see as like. He, he's kind of now trying to get, like, the, uh, the headpiece, like, off of the costume, but can't quite seem to do it. What the fuck? Yeah, do. <laughs> Let, let's try and yank it off. Can, can me and, um, Mandy try and, uh, Okay, uh, I'll, hold, I'll try and hold him and you try to yeah, I'll, I'll, it I'll, I'll get the seam, I'll get the seam. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, go ahead and roll me, uh, plus stuff again. Okay. Buddy. I'm trying, bro. Come on. I'm trying. Use those muscles you work so hard for. <laughs> I swear I'm tough. I swear. Right. Mixed success. With a mixed success, you manage to get like a little bit of like a, an opening. Um, and as you do so, like water begins to flood out of the inside of this costume. Um, and you can see, like, uh, in from inside of the costume, the person inside is kind of making, like, heaving breaths. Like, you, you've just given him, like, a... Is he drowning? Um, <laughs> yeah. He seems to be, for some reason, like, drowning inside of the, the costume itself. Okay, what do I need to roll to get this fucking thing off? Yeah. Well, Mandy, with the with the mixed success, like, you, you, you managed to, like, partly get it off. Mandy, as you're, like, focusing up, realizing, like, this is something really fucking weird that's happening as you look at it with like the sight um you can see that like there's almost tiny stitches um into it that like appear to be like made out of this almost like ghostly thread keeping like the the top of the uh the costume's head and like the rest of the costume together okay can i use magic uh Hold on, let me look at my shit <laughs> Uh, but where's my thing? Is there any way I can use magic to like cut the the, the stitch? Uh, yeah. <laughs> we, we'll say that that would be uh, the effect of your use magic. Go ahead and roll plus weird. Please. Oh. <gasps> Full success. Great. I was about to decapitate this man. <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah, on a full success, you begin to channel, like, let's go with a little bit of, like, actually, you go ahead and flavor this. How do you, uh, you cut, like, the, the thread? I take the plastic knife that I took, because you guys laughed at me, and I <laughs> use my magic to kind of enchant it, so that way no one can, like, really see what's going on. It just looks like I'm cutting with a normal knife, but I enchant it, so that way, like, just the tip of it is, like, that weird black that Mandy has and she just goes and like cuts it like how you would like cutting uh just seams in a like a dress or something and she just cuts it as fast as she can mm -hmm. like really focusing on this and kind of you know as she's getting most of it off she starts looking around with the site trying to see if there's like a ghost nearby or there's like a malice presence or something mm -hmm. yeah there there doesn't really seem to be for any sort of reason um as you're like looking around, like uh, you you can't see anything else. Um, but as like the the threads themselves are like cut, you guys manage to to rip the uh, the headpiece off. As you guys can see, just like water just begins to like just pour out of like the inside of the headpiece. Um, as the you, you can see the the guy inside just like. Uh, just completely soaked, like gasping for breath. Uh, the part of the costume that, like, he's still in, with like it, his body, like it appears to be also completely like filled with water. Um, and as like the water begins to flow out of the helmet, it seems almost like unreasonable. As like uh, it, it almost seems like there was more water inside of the costume than there was actually like, face inside of the costume. Um, as people begin to to murmur a little bit because. Well, yeah, you weren't the only people to have actually seen, like, the, the water, like, uh, flow out. Uh, well, I'm kind of ignoring that for a second and just mm -hmm. settling the dude down to sit down and, like, catch his breath. Are you okay? He, he, he looks panicked. Just, uh, thank you. I, what the... 
What, what the hell just happened? I think you need to go to the nurse's office and kind of calm down for a second. Take off this costume and go put it away. Hmm. Yeah. Um, he, he, he does so, um, and, uh, he, he's completely soggy, but, uh, uh, he, he walks himself down to the, uh, the nurse's office. Um, yeah, the rest of you guys did see that, though. <laughs> People turn would turn to... Oh, sorry. No, no, go, go ahead. Oh, people would turn to Lara and, and ask, Did the school have this much of a budget for special effects? <laughs> Didn't think so. But do we know him? Um, no, he's just chilling. You would know him vaguely. He, his name is Kevin. Um, you would know of him at least. Like you guys have been in the, the same grade for a while. Um, but you you wouldn't really like know him as like a, a person or a friend. I turn Maybe. to. Uh... Stanley and I say, should we check on the other person in the costume? Talk, talk about uh, the, the the weird costume. Yeah, I mean, what? Uh, I'll just I'll, I'll just look over at him. Does he seem in distress at all? Yeah, you you look over at him. He's taken like the the headpiece off, seeing like this weird display. Um, he just appears to be as confused as like everyone else here. Is the bin filled with water? That he the fell in? Not filled with water, but there seems to have been like a little bit of water in there. You suspect it was like from inside of the costume, it kind of like leaked out into the bed. Okay. Um, and has the has the costume guy walked off? The costume guy has walked off. You could go to the nurse's office at any point if you wanted to question him, or if you wanted to investigate the uh, the costume a little bit more, or like uh, any of the other like events surrounding it. I want to um, investigate the costume a little bit more. Mm hmm. Okay. I oh. also do. I want to ask the, the other guy, like, where did they get the costumes? Um, yeah, you're, you're, you're questioning uh, Sokoneth guy? <laughs> yeah. Uh, he, he just kind of, like, uh, you, you snap him out of his daze uh, as he just says, um, we, we, we made these costumes? Well, I mean, the, the, the Porky the Porcupine costume has been, like, a, a thing for the school for a while now, but... I mean, this costume I made. Mm. And you said that there was like some strange um, thing keeping the pieces together. Like, what was that? How was it made? Uh, the Not the strange. Oh, sorry. You'd have to talk to Mandy about that for. Oh yeah, sorry. The ghost thread. Okay. Yeah, Mandy can see it. So so only you would say okay yeah. so i don't know that all right mm -hmm. i thought it was visible yeah no it was only visible to mandy okay so we normal people what would we see we like normal, normal. Yeah, with, with an, yeah, all you would see is him just like struggling to take off the costume. Yeah. It kind of like awkwardly catched on something that you couldn't quite see. And for some reason, mm -hmm. he seemed to be having a struggle like taking it off despite the fact that like the two pieces looked like they weren't connected. Okay, so they weren't connected to us. Yeah, the, the two pieces. Powers. Okay. Yeah. All right, all right. Makes sense now. I personally would love to find out more about this Sokina thing. I, I mean, has any of you heard of it? You're like, very quiet, by the way, Sophie. I still? Oh. Is this any better? A little bit. Can you move like a little bit closer to your mic or something? I, I'm eating it. Um, I, I can fix it in my settings. But, but for now, I, I just want to know about um, if there's any any lore around the Sokinus that we know? Mm-hmm. Uh, go ahead and roll me Investigate a Mystery. Uh, here we go. Eight. Okay, mixed success. Um, 
let's go with this. As you're trying to figure out exactly what it is, um, you do not know specifics, but you, I will give you a route to find out that information. As you can hear the guy in like the, the Sokinet costume just say like, Sokinet's curse, I, it's no way, right? Um, as you can also hear like members of like the spirit council just kind of like mumbling amongst themselves. If you want to go in there. Uh, I, I think I'll go and check that out with Mandy as well, if you want to come along. Yeah. Is there, okay, is there any more ghost threads? Like, yes, I cut them, but like, are they still visible to me there? They're just broken, or? Yeah, after you cut them, um, after he like, uh, exited like the, the costume itself, you can see the, uh, the threads begin to fade away. The threads are now gone. Okay, can I go over to the Sokineth costume dude and like, just look and see if there's any threads on his costume? Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, you, you go ahead and look. I'll just give you this one for free because it's pretty easy to tell. Uh, from at least the outside, yeah, no, there doesn't seem to be any sort of like weird ghost threads or any sort of like things of note. Okay, I take the head of the porcupine and I follow Stanley and Sophie, Pixie, fuck, sorry. <laughs> all good, all good. <laughs> and then I uh, turn to people and uh, Susie, and I kind of like nod my head in the direction like that we're going to follow. All right. They don't like us being split up with this shit going on. Mm-mm. Yeah, great. Um, cool. You guys all group up, um, as you, uh, you, you do so, um, you, uh, approach the, the group of, like, the, the spirit council, um, as you can see, they're all just kind of, like, quietly, like, mumbling amongst themselves about, like, uh, you know, like, you, you can hear some people saying, like, oh, we, should we just take the Sokinet, like, out of it? I mean, that's a bad omen, like, what the hell, like, was that? As like, some people are saying, like, D don't be, like, superstitious. I mean, that, that had to be something weird, but it's probably, like, like related. Like you have made three good choices of words that has perked my ears and Mandy's. <laughs> What's the suck on that? It's this, like, fictional, uh, you can hear, like, one member of the Spirit Council just go, like, it's like this fictional monster that we all read about. Where? Um, she hands you a book. It <gasps> Give is, me! <laughs> uh, the book itself is just, like, this small, like, a uh, pulp fiction-y kind of, like, book. Um, it is titled Only in Whispers, and, uh, the author is Jack Barclay. Why do I know that name? I don't know. Why do you? Jack Barclay. Barkley? Like B A R K? Oh, Barkley. Like anyway. Charles Barkley? Wait. I, I don't know. To me, that's not oh, a real... Barclay. I don't know. Anyway, I open it and I want to read to see what the fuck. Okay. It um, says about this, yes. whatever it is. So very specifically, uh, you could do a cursory glance of the book. If you do so, you might get some like vague details or something like that. Um, but uh, if you actually want to find out some information, you're going to need to properly read the book, which means you need to investigate a mystery. And um, if you roll low, you're not going to finish the book in like any sort of timely manner. Uh, if you roll mixed success, you can find out some information over the next course of like a few days. Uh, if you get a uh, full success, then you can find out all the information by like tonight. I'm reading it. Okay, go ahead and roll investigate a mystery. Which uh, plus sharp. Sharp. Mm. Yeah. Which you're traditionally very good at, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mix can success. Can I use a luck point? Are you going to use a luck point? Yeah. Okay. Um, you, you do so. Um, cool. <laughs> <laughs> With like your your luck point, uh, I believe that whenever you use a luck point, um, shit happens. Yes. Mm hmm. 
I believe very specifically, using a luck point here would imply that you're using your magic somehow to like help you succeed. Um, Ooh, so okay. You... So could I like flavor this into, I want to use my magic on my eyes to kind of like read it faster and find specific things I need to know about this thing. Um, maybe find some hidden weird context because like with the ghost thread maybe there's like invisible ghosting or some shit you know what i mean mm -hmm. yeah um okay so yeah so you you will find out um more bits of relevant information by uh by tonight but the first thing you get is uh is this um do 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 um, basically, it's a, it's a very Pulp Fiction-y sort of uh, story, and as you begin, like, flipping through it, the first detail that pops out to you is that uh, the, the Sokoneth have, follows, like, a set of rules, and the first big rule is anyone that hears the name of the Sokoneth can be affected by it. And the way it kind of attacks is it, like, it summons fears of, of like, uh, of people. Okay, reading that at least, I whip my head up and I say, quit saying its name. It, okay? And she's serious as death. Like, first of all, Mandy is the weird kid of the, the whole fucking school, right? And this spirit council, whatever, has only interacted with her probably maybe once for like, because it's Halloween weekend. And she could like, I don't know, something. But they have never actually interacted with her because of how, in like, I would say she's intimidating. This tall ass goth chick, you know? Mm -hmm. Tells them, do not say the name anymore. Uh, go ahead and roll manipulate someone. Uh, charm. Oh. Jesus Christ. Thank you. Okay. God. I was not gonna <laughs> use another luck point. <laughs> With the twelve, yeah, they they do what you do, what you say. As uh, all of them just kind of like look extremely nervous and taken aback. <laughs> I turn to the others. Well, actually, I turn them. I'm gonna keep this book for a minute and do some research on it. I'll return it once this is over. And she turns to the others and makes like a motion to like leave the room, council thing. Okay. I'm just gonna follow her. Before, before we leave, I'm I, I gonna ask one of the guys where where did you find this book? Uh, Kevin, uh, he said that uh, he brought like a box of them um, and said that he got them from like his grandma. Gotcha. You can ask Kevin about it. Oh, what's his full name? Uh, <laughs> uh, his last name is not Barclay. Um, Woodstock. Kevin, not Barclay. Kevin Woodstock. Yeah, Kevin, not Barclay. No, it's Kevin Woodstock. Perfect. <laughs> Why do you have to torture the DM like this? <laughs> it's fun. Hey, Kevin Woodstock. All right. Where where would he be right now? He's in the nurse's office. Nurse's office? office. Oh, it's his. <laughs> oh, it's that guy. Yeah. <laughs> God. Oh, that's it's such a small world. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I see you later. Uh huh. Yeah. Cool. Great. Thanks. Planet, mate. Uh -huh. Hey, once oh. we're out of earshot of people, I kind of tell everybody, and as I open the book and like start like looking at it, I think it's what's been happening these past couple weeks this is you know another supernatural thing i'm gonna keep reading this book to see what else i can find out but for now don't say its name if he's on fear it seems to manifest fear manifest fear which from that guy in the water would be drowning uh what else did you tell me <laughs> Those are the two things that you, okay. yeah, manifest fear and uh, a, anyone, anyone who hears its name can be affected by it. A. For now, if we need to reference it, just call it S or it. I don't care either way. Nut. Um, okay, nut it is. 
God. That's funnier. <laughs> <laughs> kind of takes okay. the fear out of its name, you know? We have two problems. Not problems, but two lines of questioning we should go about. <laughs> we should first go to... Uh, what's the name? Andy? Angeline? And the first guy. Kevin? No, the first guy. Logan? Logan, right. <laughs> Got asked if they heard about those second oh nuts. <laughs> and second, everyone in the cafeteria heard the name. Fuck. Oh, they're going to be talking about it. You're completely right. We need to get this thing off the poster. At, at least it, it can't appear there. Or, or at the. the more night. distracting that teens like than a weird monster. Hyper gossip. No, that's wrong. That's, wrong. <laughs> that's, that's wrong. That's bad. <laughs> Could just get porn. <laughs> How Jesus. about I have a different approach to this? How about a vote? For Homecoming Queen. Are you sure that's better than porn? Yes. It's legal <laughs> in high school. Uh, we could just go to the printing office and, and modify the print ourselves. I think, Lyra, you've got some some, uh, some savvy with, uh, with uh, computers, haven't you? Yeah, kind of. Or okay, so... Some of us need to rip down all of these posters. Lyra, you're gonna modify the current poster and then we're gonna hang them all back up and hope that works. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Okay. <laughs> um, and then we talk to Kevin, make sure he's okay, and see where he found these books. This book? Grandma. Oh, his grandma? Is that what he said? Yeah. I mean, we we can figure out where he lives and ask his grandma and be like, where the fuck did you get this? Oh, well, yeah. That's good. Okay. So... Good plan. Alright. Lyra, we'll see you in a bit. Actually, we should not split up too many people. Who wants to go with Lyra? <laughs> I'll go with Lyra. Alright. Yeah. Me, Peepo, and uh, Pixie will be ripping down posters. Sounds good. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um, yeah, you guys start uh, ripping down posters. We can say you guys just do that. Um, and then I believe uh, Lyra then and Charles, you two are going to the printing office to print yeah. out just new posters without the Sokaneth, or? Yeah, I think just removing that from the background, you know? Okay. Yeah, you, you Photoshop that out pretty easily. Yeah. It's like a little bit. You yeah, cover, sure. sure. You covered up with, with a fucking LOL cat because those were all the rage in 2010. Absolutely. <laughs> God. Yeah. Ready. Great. <laughs> and, and as you print out your, your new posters with cheeseburger cat all over them, oh, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you guys uh, hang those up as uh, you guys can now then talk to Kevin as a group. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, but... Hey, buddy. Uh, yeah, you, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you, you guys are heading to the, the nurse's office. You can see that he's, like, covered up by, like, a blanket. Um, he, he seems to have calmed down, like, uh, quite a bit, but is still kind of, like, you know, startled by well, everything. Yeah. That was, if that's his greatest fear is drowning, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I'd be scared shitless too, mm -hmm. man. As uh, he just says, uh, uh, "Hey, uh, thanks again, by the way." Are you okay? I mean, I'm not great. That was really weird. I still don't have any sort of like rational explanation for what the hell just happened. Okay, well, I don't either, but we do have some questions for you that might relate to this. Uh, we heard that your grandma found a bunch of books in, like, a box. And we need to know, you know, where she got it, or if we can talk to her. Oh, um, 
Yeah, it was from the, uh, the, the nursing home. Um, yeah, apparently she had got it from someone else in there. I don't know, he had seemed to have, like, a, a lot of copies of this, so he just kind of gave them out to people. Just gave this out to people? What a weirdo. It could be the, the Jack Barclay. Mm. Or just yeah, some terrorists are so fun. <laughs> so, there are multiple copies of this book, and we'd have, we have no idea where they are. They could be... Did, did, he, did he hand them out to, to school kids? Or was no, he's at a nursing home. Oh, oh no! All the old people be reading it, and probably all of them are dying. Geriatric uh, genocide. Shit. What do we do about that? Do we even have time to go there? Looks at God in the sky, do we? <laughs> <laughs> you guys can- that's an option you guys could take. I don't know, maybe it's a whole location I have planned out or something like that. It seems like a pretty viable option. <laughs> I don't know. I think we need to go to the library instead. Let's go, yeah, right, let's go to the library. Guys. <laughs> okay, well, no, let me we just write down uh, it's 60 old people dead. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> okay, so we need to go to the nursing home. Yep, yes. Sorry. <laughs> Probably after school. Do I have to do it right now? Are we gonna miss classes? Those are lame. I mean, wouldn't it look suspicious after this whole thing happened? Me and uh, Stanley just so happened to help this guy and we just skipped class after we changed all the fucking posters in the school. I mean, what's the I'm problem? Scared. Look, It's looking suspicious, though. We're not committing any crimes. Let's just finish the school day out. And why don't we all meet each other? Well, shit, Pixie's the only one who can drive right now. Yes, I can give us all a lift to the old people's home. That's fine. I mean, I was going to suggest we could all go home and gather some supplies in case shit goes down again. Because people was right with the gun. <laughs> Yeah, my gun's still out the car. <laughs> it is? <laughs> yeah, I left How it there. You that back in there. I just took it out. Oh no. <laughs> Where is the shotgun? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm, I think we'll, we're not gonna have the shotgun now. Okay, but like, you know, a knife or a handgun. Oh, I have a knife. People reaches into his sock. Okay, but it no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of a hallway here in the classroom. Mm -hmm. Goodness. Okay, but like I said, if any of us have things we could use in case shit goes down. That's what I meant. Uh, I have a few tricks up my sleeve, for sure. This might be silly, but I don't know what people's fears are, but maybe if, you know, this thing is real, you have anything to combat your own fear, that might be a good idea. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh <laughs> god, I didn't even think of that. That's a oh, good idea. Steve. Oh no. <laughs> what are you guys' fears? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we all look away from each other, not wanting uh. to say a word. Okay, okay. so. Oh, you can go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. I'm, I'm curious. First off, there's the Bermuda Triangle. I don't know how that would manifest itself, but it's scary as fuck. There's something going on in there, and I don't know why it scares me. The what, sorry? The Bermuda Triangle? The Bermuda Triangle. The Bermuda Triangle. Yeah. That's so good. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. What do we do about that? Well, 
I, well, hopefully it doesn't come up. We give you a map? Yeah. yeah, no, that's the, the scary part of the Bermuda Triangle. Maps don't work, I think. <laughs> well, Neither do it, no, compasses. Compasses don't work because it's like yeah, a but weird... you need a compass for a map. <laughs> I like how everyone's pinning the message. We're like, <laughs> 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 yeah. they're like, what did I say? What did I say? No, I can't remember. <laughs> oh shit! I don't mean it's error, good. bad news, but I think our map is an bad idea because uh, I'm kind of afraid of mazes. Oh. Oh so, no. Should definitely not hang out for yeah, the time I, being. I like a home and get a compass. <laughs> and if the fears emerge, we're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so we, we have to go and stop a load of uh, elderly pensioners from dying. So, shall we? Should we go get prepared and then? Wait, you know? what? Your oh, fears, people. Stanley. We're here. Well, everybody has to share one. Anyway, time's a waste. No, no you gotta share one. Uh, uh, well, you know my food thing, right? Uh, I, I only eat food that I've made. Yeah. Apart from um, Tyrol's lightly sea salted sweet potato crisps. Because um, <clears throat> it's nice. Um, I, I really don't like uh, sickness, particularly f food poisoning. Ooh. So we get you a bunch of tubs, got it. Yeah. <laughs> just need to eat bread for the next 24 hours. <laughs> you could just not eat. Uh. Smoothies. Yeah, that? No, that's, I've tried that. Smoothies are scary. <laughs> uh, how about you, um, Susie? What, sorry? What, what's your fear? Um, I fear a bunch of different things. Uh, for example, seagulls. Fair. That's fair. Yeah, and other birds in general. Not my favorite. All right, birds. That's fair. No though. birds are scary. Pigeons, especially. Yeah, yeah. Also pigeons. Fuck those. So we could you guys just get you guys like big nets so that we could just catch them. Want us to catch the birds? I mean, that way they don't go after you. You just I don't if know. If we find the shotgun, I can shoot them. That... <laughs> I guess that's yeah. Better. I think nets are also a good idea. Okay. Maybe less risky. Mm -hmm. I'm also scared of ice speed, but I don't know how that could be an influence, like on highways. Like a, a roller coaster? Oh, high speeds! Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> ice speeds? What? High speeds! Like on a roller coaster, you go like over 80 miles an hour. High yeah. speed, zoom. <laughs> Terrifying thing, I don't know. <laughs> 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 I got you, I understood. You know, that's actually that's fair though. But I don't know how we could protect us from that. Yeah. I'll drive slow. Motion sickness pills. I don't know. Wait, will this even affect us if we don't say the nuts name? I mean, it still the, feeds off of people's fear, and I'm assuming oh, it's gonna come after us as we investigate. It, it affects everyone who heard the name, oh, so we already it. heard it. Piss. Yeah. Okay, um, let's go save Granny. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, let's leave now. I don't want to hear classes. What if they talk about the water, like the ocean, and when they get to the ocean, there's there's a place there. And Bob, we're triangle, you know? It's scary. 
so we didn't get you a life jacket? What? It, it, it's a Bermuda Triangle. Well, uh, you still star death or so. I don't know how to to avoid that, so we should <laughs> kill so the nuts. Is it the, uh, sub mechanophobia, the the fear of the of ships in the in the sea, like you know, the, like no, no, it's the Bermuda Triangle in general. It's just a, a whole scary place that I didn't know what's going on there. Okay, so do you, you don't like triangles? Not the, not the Berm of the Bermuda kind, no. <laughs> it's just specifically right. the Bermuda Triangle. Well, hopefully we don't find ourselves in the Bermuda Triangle or something. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> that would be terrible. Oh, Christ. Okay, so we're heading to the old folks' home yeah. without so any precautionary. What? I don't know. I just everyone's telling us our fears, and I'm like, what are we gonna do for these? <laughs> I mean, I, I'm probably gonna stop by our home. I can uh, grab some supplies. Okay, uh, I'll come. And I can drop everyone else at their homes and then re pick everyone up. Sounds good. Sure. Okay. <laughs> um, we'll cut then to uh, to after school. Um, yeah, you you guys head home. You pick up the uh, the the stuff that you need and start heading off to the old folks' home. Um, we... sh 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 one, one thing. Yeah. Can I bro investigate the mystery to get to find my shotgun? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. success <laughs> Sophie after finding a, a shotgun in your uh, your car where would you put it afterwards <laughs> how would you dispose of that uh, I probably like got into my car at the start of the day to put my my like school backpack in and mm -hmm. seen it and I've taken it out the car and in my umbrella stand in our apartment <laughs> oh my god <laughs> So, as people was hitting himself inside of your car once again, <laughs> people, you can see as as Pixie and Stanley are like opening the door, you can see your shotgun in their house. <laughs> the shotgun. People just static bros on out of the trunk. Hey guys, I found the shotgun. How did you get me in there? I <laughs> <laughs> scared me. Don't talk too loud. <laughs> There's a shotgun. It could be terrible. <laughs> Nemo? Well, let me act in pressure. <laughs> what? Let me act in your pressure. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> God, it's gonna be the stupidest fucking thing. <laughs> okay, <laughs> as <laughs> you roll to make success, <laughs> uh, let me let me double check something. Just kill Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't kill Stanley. Um, you can feel a dread beginning to to grow, just like a little bit. Um. It's not fully there, but you can feel like your heart rate beginning to quicken just like a little bit beyond the initial surprise. And, uh, <laughs> oh god, Stanley and Pixie, you can both see like people beginning to freak out just a little bit. You guys have an opportunity to try and calm him down though? Uh, yeah, he's not got the gun on him, does he? He does not have the gun on him yet. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. People, you can just feel yourself like, it's almost like the beginning of like, just sort of almost having a panic attack. Um, you, as, as you can feel just like, you know, like you, 
you, you yourself just beginning to grow more and more scared a little bit. <laughs> you know, the ring and is just gasping for it. And it goes, uh, you can also what? try to calm yourself down too. Oh. Oh. What's Ow. happening? <laughs> I I want the gun. Uh, uh, you should just sit down, sit down for now. Yeah. Yeah. Sit down as well. Why? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sit down. Take some deep breaths and, and tell, tell us what's going on. Well, uh, I'm not really sure. We both sit down. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you follow the advice, you sit down, take some deep breaths. Yeah. Okay, you you do so, and as you take these, like, deep breaths, you you can feel your panic slowly, like, leaving you as you begin to, to relax. That was weird. <laughs> that was weird. Are you, are you feeling okay now? You look a little calmer. Hi. I... <laughs> I'm feeling a little better, yeah. I I don't know what just happened there. Okay, do, do you wanna... Let's, I'll get you a drink of water. Oh, that would be lovely, thank you. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll pour the man a drink of water. Yeah. And then take it outside to him. Bless you. <laughs> I, I drink my water. You do so. You you calm down. You're back to normal. Everything's fine. Hmm. Our oh, shocks. Okay. Can I get my shotgun now? Uh. I'll look at Pixie. Do you feel calm enough? Yeah. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I feel calmer. Okay, I take it out of the umbrella stand, take out the bullets, <laughs> and hand them to him separately. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I, I'm gonna go in and, and get some bits uh, for, you know, in case I get stuck in a maze. Uh, anything yeah, right. I don't think so, I got the shotgun. Okay. I... I don't know what can really help. Actually, I think I'll just stick with you. Is that okay, Pixel? Yeah, yeah, totally. Okay. Oh, I can follow you guys with the shotgun. That, that'll help too. <coughs> yeah, oh, we'll follow my you. Neighbors. Just... Uh, what? Okay, here, I'll, I'll wrap the, the, the shotgun in like... Like... Canvas, just like, like wrap it up as much as I can. Like a tea towel. Yeah. You're just wrapping up like a towel? <laughs> like, um, a, a, la, a, either a large towel, yes, or like, uh, some, like waterproof, um, like wrapping or something like that. Just like, just like anything, basically. I'm thinking like tent material, because we likely yeah. have tent material. Great. Awesome. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, guide. And... As you guys uh, begin to pick everyone up with a calming presence of people with a shotgun behind you, <laughs> let's go ahead and take our 15 minute break here. Less. Oh god, did you change the screen? Got it. Okay. And we're back. Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, so I believe we left left last left off on uh, to do. I believe it was uh, Peepo, Pixie, and Stanley are off picking up everyone else. Um, so real quick, the extra information that you get, um, or sorry, the extra equipment that you get. Uh, I believe you were getting uh, like big nets. Um, is anyone else going to get anything of note? Uh, yeah, I'd love a compass. Please. A compass, okay. Uh, possibly a flashlight. Yeah, Google. Cool, cool. Use the dark. No. Okay. But it's just useful. 
Yeah, of course. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna get a big ass selenite crystal. Okay. And what? Selenite. And. Some herbs, just restocking her herbs. Are, is her mom there at home? Uh, yeah. So y your mom is uh, currently getting ready for her uh, her shift at the morgue. She says, uh, "Oh, hi, honey." Okay. Um. Okay, I got a couple questions. Um, for one, can I borrow the car this Saturday? Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, cool. Uh, for two, we're fighting this thing finding this thing called, and I write it down because I ain't fucking saying it. <laughs> oh. As uh, she kind of quirks her head and says, hmm, I haven't heard of this before. Neither have I. And it's kind of creepy. It feeds off of fears. Ooh. Yeah. I, uh, Mine are kind of hard to really work with, so I don't know what to do to prepare myself. Hmm. Well, maybe it's not just about uh, you dealing with the external forces, but maybe also dealing with your internal fear instead then? You can practice the, uh, the meditation I showed you, make sure to pack like um some relaxing sort of things like a uh, jasmine tea and i can't really think of anything else like like oil. lavender oil um incense okay got mm -hmm. it yeah weed give weed to get you the thing no <laughs> oh god um, it counts as herbs. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> no, she <laughs> she says like, yeah. I mean, if you if you can't focus on external, then maybe just try and focus on everything internal. Then does that help? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I we'll see how that goes. I guess I'm just I don't know. It's kind of giving me weird vibes. Alright, just stay safe out there, honey, alright? I will do my best. She, uh, yeah, she, she gives you a quick hug and uh, she's out the door. Um, cool. So... Bye, Mom. <laughs> yeah, uh, did, did you... Yeah, Pixie picks you guys up and uh, you, you head out? Did Susie yep. want to pack anything specific? Did you? No, the last will do. Okay, just the next. Okay, awesome. Um, Mandy, as you continue reading through the book uh, on the, the way there, you yeah. find out the second piece of information about the Sokanath. The second bit is that uh, um, an attack is almost always triggered by nervousness or more specifically, like, a shock or any sort of, like, surprise. That, like, will feed off of it and create, like, the the proper fear in order to, like, make that fear attack happen. But it's okay. almost always kicked off by, like, shock or surprise. Like, for example, people saying, I am scared. Fuck. <laughs> okay, well, I read that out loud to everybody as we're all in the car. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that just makes me more nervous. Yeah. And as an aside, as you're reading through it so far, the book, like, it isn't very good. Like, it's all right, but, like, it's supposed to be this, like, horror sort of book, and, like, the characters are pretty, like, unbelievable and useless. Um, the plot kind of, like, drags on in, like, weird places, and, like, the characters don't seem to, like things out very quickly and a lot of the story is just told in like things that are just straight up told to you rather than like you know like uh th things that are like the better described or anything like that it's pretty mediocre at best 
weird. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's not really my focus right yeah. now, though. It's just it's mostly like trying to figure out how to not get hurt by this thing. If you get for sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> but yeah, this uh, book yeah. sucks. <laughs> But yeah, but uh, you do get the big information being that you just share with the group um, that uh, shocks the thing that triggers it. If anyone wanted to figure out a way to mitigate that, it's going to go for it. Hmm. Way to mitigate Should smoke weed. Oh. <laughs> so just to protect, we have to not be shocked? Or it has to be shocked? I think the, like, it attacks someone. Like yeah, if, if you are shocked, then you are like especially vulnerable to like the the fear attack. Oh, okay, got it, got it. Mm. Yeah. Mind you, know orbs, right? Yeah. C can you can you hook us up? <laughs> okay. Yeah, let me. I reach into my fucking bag, and I pull out <laughs> the lavender Queen? oil. Oh. Because <laughs> lavender actually alleviates stress and anxiety. Just rub a little bit, like, on your neck, so that way that the smell goes to your nose, you know? Oh, okay, I guess. And I just give a little bit of drops to everyone. Okay, everyone does so. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Bindley. You're welcome. We don't have weed, though, right? That's at my house. My mom what is your obsession? <laughs> I, I, I want to see what it's like. Not in my car, you know. <laughs> okay, when all this is over, I have some gummies at home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> and you just stare at the ceiling. Like, I have a bunch of, like, tapestries all over my house, and you stare at them for a while. <laughs> Fucking wild. <laughs> God. Anyways, <laughs> you you guys make it to the the nursing home. Um, you, you we guys just all give pass... weed to all the <laughs> to all people. the old folks. <laughs> Community service. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh god, solves all bad. problems. Um, <laughs> no, no. Um, yeah, you guys pal out of the car and uh, you you make your way into the uh, lobby. Um. As you guys uh, are all uh, inside of there, um, you can see that like uh, it's very like empty. There's just like a, a very like a tired looking nurse uh, to who's just kind of like sleepily managing the receptionist test. So she says like, "Oh, uh, can I help you guys with something? Are you here to visit someone?" Or did we ask Kevin what his grandma's name was? You did, I believe. <laughs> yeah, that was a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> well, what's Kevin's last name? Wasn't it uh, Woodstock? Woodstock, yeah. yeah uh, we're here to oh, see Mrs. Hey, we're... Woodstock. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. As uh, she says, like, okay. I'll, I'll just uh, let her know that uh, you guys are, are going out then. <laughs> um, we're friends with Kevin, you. if that helps. <laughs> yeah. Um, she, uh, she, she phones in to, to Mrs. Woodstock, and yeah, you guys are, are let up. Um, the entirety of like the the retirement home is simple. It smells like old. People. It smells like old people for sure, and it has like this quiet, sleepy feeling inside of it of uh, uh, of people just kind of like idly passing by the the time here. Um, yeah, as you guys uh, you visit Mrs. Woodstock, you can see uh, an elderly woman as she sits by the the TV. Um, as uh, she says, um, oh, hi, uh, can I help you with, uh, anything? Oh, yeah, and also, Mandy, you do see, like, a lot of spirits, yeah. like, uh, looking around this place. She's just gonna just awkwardly acknowledge them just with, like, a small nod, but they have a mission. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sorry. God. They have a mission to do, so she's just, uh, going. Mm -hmm. Great. <laughs> uh, uh, hello, Mrs. Woodstock. Uh, did you hear about a book? You, you know, uh, 
Kevin recently told us that you gave him a lot of books and said that one of the books, uh, most specifically that... I hold up the book. The scary one. Yeah, that one. <laughs> and she, she lets out a little bit of a laugh uh, as she says, Oh yeah, since Halloween was right around the corner, uh, well, Jack was nice enough to, to give me a few extra copies, so I, I figured it would be fun for uh, the, the kids to, to read a nice spooky story. Is Jack... Yeah, you're right. It, it's, it's, it's the best book we, we, we've ever heard, right, guys? Absolutely. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's honestly so good. I, I'm, we're kind of a fans now. Uh, so uh, I, I was wondering if you could uh, let us help us meet Jack, we're a fan of his fans. That's so sweet. You know what? Yeah, he, he doesn't get a, a lot of visitors. So yeah, that, that would just make his day, I think, if, uh, if you guys were to go over to visit him. I'll take you so much, Miss Woodstock. <laughs> what, what's, your, what's your first name, ma'am? Just, just... Uh, it's Marlene. Marlila. Okay. Marlene Marlila. Marlila. <laughs> Please, bastardize my name more. Um, <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, yeah, no problem. Yeah, the Jack's, uh, he's in a, a few rooms uh, down the hall. Cool. We're just gonna open every single door until we find it. Cool, great, awesome. That's that's fine. No, please. What, the room number is Just like what? Just see a 203? bunch of old people fucking. Oh, <laughs> no! 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 Everyone's no! mentally no! scarred. No! Right. Wait, no. The the, the 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 nuts. It's gonna take that fear. It's. A... No, no, no. No, we were all surprised. No. no! Oh my god, can we just give me a goddamn room number? <laughs> god. 214. Cool, bye. <laughs> awesome, great, perfect. <laughs> god uh, damn it. Alright, yeah, you, you guys head over to, to Mr. Barclay's room. Um, <sighs> and you guys open the door. Um, we knock. We knock on the door. <laughs> um, as uh, he says, uh, who is it? Uh, fans? What? We're friends of your, yeah. You hear, like, a, a bit of a silence, uh, before, like, uh, he quickly, like, opens the, the door. Um, you can see this is a, uh, decidedly, uh, older man. Uh, he, he's currently, like, using a, um... Uh, a walking stick to, to balance himself um, as uh, he, he looks at you with like a, a bit of a squint and a furrowed brow as he says, you guys are fans of the, the book? That's us. Big fans. Mandy what tries did... to smile. <laughs> what did you like about it? The characters, the main two, they're very interactive with the whole book. Yeah, <laughs> the plot, the characters, it had some words. Perfect I'm book. Manipulate someone. Okay. Can we help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh god, one of you can help. Yes. Go ahead, Charles. Please help. <laughs> you go ahead. No, wait. Somebody <laughs> with good charm, please <laughs> help me. Oh, I don't need your help. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Christ. Yeah, okay, that works. Uh, as, like, he, he nods, uh, clearly uh, did not know that you were lying, uh, as he says, like, hmm. yeah, I, I guess uh, you guys are fans. Um, as, like, he, he kind of just, like, mumbles a little bit, like, almost under his breath, just like, <laughs> wish you guys were around earlier. What do you mean? Hmm? Nah, I mean... It, uh... The book itself didn't really... 
itself very well. As like uh, you can see him like looking around like the room itself. Um, you can see that there's a lot of boxes of like the of copies of the, the book. Um, a lot of them are just That's covered so in like sad. guts at this point. Um, yeah, no, like you, you you can just see like the, uh, there's maybe at least like fifty to hundred like copies of like these unsold books. Oh. Well, Man, I just feel bad that. for this guy. Like, what the fuck? Same. <laughs> Not everyone's going to enjoy it all the time, but um, sometimes it's just the work that counts. Yeah. Got to, got to get, carry on. He, yeah, he quietly like uh, nods to that. <laughs> so can I? Help you in particular with something else, or yeah, uh, we just had. To, I, I mean, I just had some uh, questions about some of the stuff in the book that you had. Uh, okay. This word in particular that you have clearly stated, do not say out loud. Why did you write this? <laughs> He, he kind of lets out a laugh. He says, I, I get that it's a scary book, but you can say the word soak in it out loud. No, no, no. <laughs> but what? You, you guys all look. Book really scar you uh, that bad? Yeah. We, we're kind of spooked. No. Oh, oh shit. We weren't supposed to say that. <laughs> we're just going to die. <laughs> God. <laughs> I mean, you guys can say you're. I'm assuming you're not actually like shocked or surprised. No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you you say that you're, you're scared when you die. Okay. Sorry. I just. I don't know how the rules work here. It's <laughs> too spoopy. Well, I mean, I guess it's, you know, Halloween coming up soon and just. How everything's been going on? Yeah, honestly, uh, I've been thinking of making like a custom of it, you know. But uh, I don't exactly know what to dress like. So, did you have any references for that guy? Like, did you base him off something? He this um be begins to to kind of like uh, flip through like some old papers. Um, as, like, he, he does so, he, uh, eventually pulls out, like, a, a crumpled out, like, a uh, drawing, um, as, as he kind of shows it to you. Um, do, 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 I think all of you guys go ahead and roll me an investigative mystery. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Fuck. <laughs> God. That is, yeah, a bunch of mixed, three mixed successes and uh, two failures. Um. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Um. As you guys like kind of look at it like you can see it's like a strange shadowy creature that has like horrible like uh hooked claws um and just this, like menacing expression like on its face and as you guys kind of look at those you get like mixed successes you guys can see like vague similarities in like the facial structure to logan's shadow demon and uh anjali's glitch monster what? They're connected. Oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. Huh. The, so the, the picture of this, of, the, of this nut beast. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you call it the nut beast? <laughs> because, because I must. <laughs> I must. <laughs> Didn't say it in character, okay? Yeah, I, that's the, I'll say it in character, yeah. <laughs> no, he's a bitch. God. <laughs> As, yeah, he, he just says, like, yeah, what, why'd you call it that? <laughs> oh, it's just a nickname. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> just so we don't say the actual name. 
Yeah. <laughs> but, but honestly, if 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 it is like it's described in the book, we already doomed. <clears throat> Because we are, we heard the name, you know. Hey, ah, what? I mean, should we should we just cut to the chase here? Um, we're having a little bit of trouble. I mean, I'll, I'll look to look to Mandy as team leader. <laughs> <laughs> why, why am I the team leader in this? Okay, so what kind of trouble? <laughs> okay, fine, fine. Look, I know this is really hard to believe, but a lot of weird shit has been happening in this town lately. Um, I can see things people normally can't, and the, today, during the Spirit Week, whatever the hell it is, They were describing this your creature as a mascot against our mascot, and the guy Andy, almost drowned. Real quick. Yeah. Be real gentle how you say the next words because we don't want to spook the guy. Got you. Understandable. Okay, let me restart that. Okay. <laughs> Nobody okay. stopped me, so I was just going. Okay. <laughs> things have been happening. We have been solving said things been happening things that can't be explained and we're all just very precautious that your creature who is being used as a mascot right now for our uh, the Halloween dance coming up whatever is going to become real so we need to do anything we can to stop it because if, if how you've described it is true Then we're all in trouble. Very good. Okay. <laughs> That sounds completely ridiculous. How can I prove it to you? I. I mean, I don't really know. I mean, the okay. token that isn't real, and Peepo. You can tell. He just said a lie. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, uh, Mr. Barclay. Uh, I know you're lying. I don't know exactly why. But do you have an ulterior motive here? Do you want to kill us? What? I... Why would I want that? I don't know, you're old, you're like almost dead and you want to take everyone with you. <laughs> God. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> you made me go gentle, what the fuck? <laughs> God. Um, as uh, he says, Okay, I don't know why you're just suspecting me of lying here, but uh, really, I don't want to hurt a bunch of teenagers as one to lie. So that's a lie. Oh my god, this is spooky. Oh boy. As as people talking with him and like kind of interrogating him, can I look around his room other than the millions of boxes that are. Is there anything yeah. else that stands out? One more investigative mystery. See if you can notice something that's uh, anything interesting. Uh. Eight mixed success, a uh, vague sort of detail. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, I will give you this. You can see that, like, um, in addition to like uh all the other like uh, effects like in the room um you can see there's like very few personal effects in terms of like anything related to like his family or anything like that you'd expect that he would have something but if he has any sort of family he doesn't have uh, any, like uh, personal effects of them or anything like that um okay and other big detail i will give you is he definitely has a wedding ring um, that he does have on, so... Okay. Mm. Cool. Anyway, continue, people. Sorry. I, I just wanted to see... I, I have a, a question. Do, do I still... Ha am, am I still carrying the shotgun package? 
<laughs> God, yeah, are you just still carrying that on you? <laughs> um, Can I? Can I be able to <laughs> just tried? walk in? Would you, tried, would just you, would you be holding it? <laughs> Let's go with that. You, would, you probably would have stashed it somewhere like in a backpack or something like that, right? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You do have the All shot. right, <laughs> Mr. Barclay. I can say you're not being forthright with uh, our investigation here. Oh boy. And people pulls out the package and walks over. I and... am putting a fucking arm in front of you. No, wait. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not pointing the package at, at him. I just... Okay. Uh, can you give me your hands for a second, Mr. Barclay? Why would I do that? I'm a fan, dude. I, I just gotta gotta see the hands that wrote the book, you know? It's also a present for you. A present for me? <laughs> God. <laughs> um, roll manipulate someone to see if you have any chance of doing this. <laughs> oh boy. Hippo goes to hand the gentleman a shotgun. I will be stopping him. Guys. <laughs> <Got it. laughs> oh, fucking success! So he, he just sighs and says, fine, if this will rid you of your weird suspicion or something like that. As uh, he, yeah. he holds his empty hand out for whatever you're about to hand him. Is it a shotgun? I, I say to him, okay, so you, you want to hold it vertically, like pointing at oh your chin. Oh my god. What? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, it's for, it's, it's for purposes. Thank you, sir. Okay, if you put it in his hand, he's going to try and put the covering off of it. <laughs> no. Uh, this right, is not happening. No. <laughs> this is not happening. Okay, what are you doing to stop <laughs> us as he's I, like actively like... <laughs> I am confiscating the shotgun. He, okay, he's, yeah, he's about to like pull the tarp and he just like, you just grab it out of his hand and just like, nope. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, all right, then, I, that's, that goes one of my plans. So I'm just gonna keep asking you questions. So, where did you hear about the sucker nut? I made the creature up. Is that a lie? Is he a lie? He is not lying. That's even more scary. That <laughs> is, what the fuck? <laughs> hey guys, I'm gonna need that package real quick, please. <laughs> yeah, as uh, you uh, you say that, you can hear a scream from downstairs. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Time to run. Time to run. What did you do? Me? I couldn't have possibly done anything. As... Lies. Yep, lie. <laughs> how old is this man? How, how tall is this man? He is Can like we an, take his along? He is an 80-year-old man. He He's actively... Like, like, he has to use the walking cane in order to actually walk around. Is it one of those canes that turn into a sword? <laughs> you have no way of telling. One of those. <laughs> one of those. I'm running downstairs. <laughs> okay, Fuckers. you're running downstairs. Oh, God. <laughs> I will be the last person to run downstairs. I do not trust this old man. <laughs> you, you do so, um, Stanley. As uh, you head downstairs uh, with uh, with Mandy on the top floor, um, hey, what was that? Like, with with top Stanley. Floor, top floor. Okay, people's with Stanley, Pixie. Uh, I'm with Mandy. Okay. Yeah, yeah me too. Okay, the girls are upstairs. Boys are downstairs. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Um, cool. <laughs> um, and yeah, as, uh, you, you, you two guys, uh, rush downstairs, um, you can see that there was, like, a, a yelp as, uh, um, you, you can see, like, uh, there's another nurse, like, trying to calm down, like, the receptionist, as she's kind of just, like, popping it off as she just says, like, someone just left, like, a, a fake arm here. I don't know, like, 
who did this. It was weird, but like, come on, come on, calm down. It's just a fake arm. As you can see the receptionist like growing more and more like panicked by the second. Um you hear like the door slowly creaking open to the uh, um, the nursing home. Oh shit. Okay, so wait, so is is there a arm lying on the floor? Yeah, it's like fake it's a very fake plastic arm. Okay. Like you'll find you'd find like a Halloween store. Um and and the door to the nursing home is slowly open. Yeah. Okay, can I can I shove that shit closed? Yeah, the, the door to the, the nursing home. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you rush over, go ahead and roll me plus tough. Okay. Oh, shit. Can I help out? Yeah, I'm gonna need it. <laughs> oh boy. You got this. Come on, dude. Yeah, I mean, I think the three words, you got this. Oh, fuck. No! Uh, <laughs> yes, you got oh, it, bro! Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> By the way, was that help out for uh, for for Stanley? I tried no. to. <laughs> okay, uh, let me double check something because I'm fairly certain if you fail on help out. Oh, do, 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 oh do. fuck! Oh, my first I success! Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, <laughs> Charles. Oh, <laughs> uh, God, I'm fairly certain you just exposed yourself to to danger on like the the full failure there without helping out. Um, oh no. Stanley does get the uh, the full success. So here's what I'm going to say. You get one of two choices. Either as people's like trying to help you close the door, um, whatever was trying to open the door grabs Peepo and drags him outside. Oh, oh fuck. Or um, either like uh, Peepo, um, whatchamacallit, uh, he, 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 he's grabbed uh, and the door is slightly open. Uh, but you're managing to like hold in place still. Use a luck point. Do you uh, want to use a luck point? I think at this point I have to. Yeah. <laughs> Great. You use a luck point then instead, and uh, Stanley, you manage to, uh, to close the the door shut. As you close the door shut, you can hear from the other side of the, the door, like this creepy laughter that begins to play. Fuck no. Okay. Is the door being forced open? Uh, oh, sorry. Is the door being forced from the other side? Um, did you do? Yeah, you, you can feel like uh, that there's someone or something trying to like break down the, the door itself. But you can also hear footsteps as in multiple possible creatures. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at Peepo and say, do not tell. Um, and I'll, I'll tap my uh, shovel against the door and just say, like, halt uh, in an attempt to freeze the door. Ooh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, one more time I had to look something up specifically. Uh, do you want to say that again? Yeah, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna tap my uh, shovel against the door and, uh, and say halt uh, in, a t in an attempt to freeze the door. Okay. Um, did you do? So I believe uh, we have to do a use magic to do your shovel, or did you? Uh, I don't have any effects other than that, so yes. Yeah. Go ahead and roll use magic then to see if you can like freeze the, the door then. Okay. Mixed success. Alright, mixed success. On a mixed success for use magic, you choose, uh, so the effect's going to be the uh, door's going to be barricaded. Um, glitch, the effect is weakened. The effect is of short duration. You take one harm, ignore armor. Magic draws immediate unwelcome attention or has some other problematic side effect. Which glitch do you want to choose? Okay. Um, the magic draws immediate unwanted attention. Great. Oh my um, god. <laughs> as you're doing so, um, you can hear a laughter coming from like uh, next to like the side of you. There is a window and it is this like glass window as you can see a very menacing looking clown just begin to like laugh as he oh, punches shit. through the window. Oh my god! Okay. At least I have my shotgun now. 
Yep, I'll hand it to him. Shoot him, please. Oh, yeah. Hippo will try to hide, take her in one of the desks, if there's one. Right, and after that... Oh, I hate this. Wait, what? <laughs> Friendly clown. I'm silent no, Hippo. Thanks. No, thanks. I'm gonna shoot him now. <laughs> you grab your shotgun as you fucking try to shoot this clown. <laughs> in a nursing home. Great, in roll a nursing home. Awesome. Oh boy. Kick some ass, right? Yes. That's that. Actually, that wait, wait. Wrong. I'm gonna give you something else because, okay, I'm, I'll give you something else, a piece of information. You pull out the shotgun, and as you do so, you can see one of the nurse aides is like freaking out. The other one looks like she's like uh, panicking a little bit, hasn't fully panicked yet. You are going to pull the shotgun trigger, which is going to make a lot of noise and be a shock. Oh. Oh. Up to you. Hey, he's telling me I think we better run instead of doing anything here. <laughs> you could use the butt of your gun. Mm -hmm. I couldn't. I would die. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm not strong. Can I, <laughs> can I do some more magic? Yeah, what are you what are you gonna do to the, the clown that's now crawling through the window? Um I'm gonna I'm gonna try and uh, I, I just like scrape the quickest of like uh for dark symbols on uh on uh Pipo's gun to try and make it silent. To try and oh try and make it silent. Ooh. Ooh. Same thing oh. use, use magic. Come again. on, buddy. Give him a left shot. I believe that's the same exact roll. Yep, oh. <laughs> if that's in the glitch. Okay, um, uh, let's see. The effect is, is of short duration. Short duration? Great, awesome. So the silence is only going to last for one shot here, but he will be able to get that one shot off perfectly silent and probably not, like, startle anyone. But... Sick. Cool. Uh, people, you want to go ahead and kick some ass now? I got it. No, yeah. All right. How rough, Stanley? I'm probably gonna use a luck point. Oh, I don't need to. Yeah, uh, I kick some ass with uh, a mixed success. Uh, you inflict harm on the monster, and uh, the monster inflicts harm on you. Um, all right, so uh, I believe you do uh, three harm to the, the monster. Yeah, I have a question. Does yes. that count uh, as an ambush? I would say no. I feel like the clown's ambushing yeah. you, actually. That is fair, then. Then never mind. Three, three harm. How much do they take? <laughs> three harm. Uh, it has one armor, so it actually only takes two harm. Uh, but it does, like, you, 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 you can see that, like, as you uh, fucking fire into it violently, um, uh, it, it, it like uh, there, there's like a, a hole where like no blood or gore is, and it kind of reforms, but it almost looks like thinner and more transparent. Um, yeah, as uh, it, it took a, a very decent amount of harm. Um, but the clown is going to grab one of the pieces of like broken glass from the window. Hey, Shiva, uh, you're breaking up. Am I? Yeah. Yeah, your mic's. It's an internet, actually. Is my internet? Oh, no. Oh, you're yes. better. There you go. Okay, there we go. Okay, uh, so, yeah, you you, you fire uh, the the shotgun uh, into the clown, as you can see, like, a big hole, like, uh, emerges on the clown. You're oh, dying again. Oh, you're gone again. No! Uh, better thing, better thing. Nope. Nope, still so crunchy. Yeah. Very crunchy. Hello. To talk. Hello. There you go. Okay. Ah. Yes. Did we kill the clown? Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's um, dead. <laughs> not it. quite. 
Okay, so the, the clown has a one armor, which means that uh, your, your damage is reduced by one, but you do manage to do two harm to this creature, as uh, it does look uh, significantly weakened by it. Uh, you blast, like, a, a fucking hole into its, like, chest, as, like, no, like, gore or anything like that comes out of it. Um, but, like, it, it begins to reform that, like, hole, uh, but you can see it's more, like, transparent now. Um, and uh, in retaliation, because it has harm to you, it's going to grab one of the pieces of broken glass from the window as it just like snaps a big piece off and it's going to like throw it at you. And as it just like uh, cuts across your cheek, uh, you go ahead and take one harm from it. Mm. Less. Mm hmm. I roll anything to not scream and scare everyone. Um. Go ahead and we'll act under pressure as long as it's at least a, uh, a big success and you get a plus one from the lab. Plus one? Yeah. As long as it's not a failure. Oh boy. Uh. Oh! Oh, you did. Oh no. Do you want to? Uh. <laughs> no, don't do it. I think I have to again. <laughs> you do so, <laughs> as you managed to stifle a, a scream there. <laughs> oh god! Baby. So who's the one scared of clowns? Is it is it Stanley? It's the nurse. Oh. Yeah, you the nurse is like man. I see. I understand. Um, we'll come back over to you three upstairs. As you three are like uh, upstairs, um, you can see just like. Jack is like uh, currently just like calmly. You're crunchy. Like... Jack is currently hello. Better. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's crunchy. Is that just the thing now? You're like uh, just cutting in and out. Like I can hear you, but you're just in and out. Do we need to get closer? Just closer. There help you go. Me? I hear you. Yes. Hello. Okay. I've got, I'm like really close to the mic now. Good. Um. Yeah, but uh, as Jack, is, he's just currently just like sitting there, kind of just like calmly. Um, as uh, what do you three do? Are you just gonna keep staring him down? Or you want to try and uh, help the guys downstairs? I will I not I leave this man. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. I want to confront this guy. I think that's the key to it. Okay. <laughs> um. Great, great, great. Um. Yeah. Do, do, do. Um, Mandy, go ahead and roll me investigate a mystery. Just you. Uh, okay. Ooh! My first success in that shit! Let's go. <laughs> yes. With a full success, as you look at, like, uh, Jack, he is standing, sitting there, like, very calmly. You can see, like, one of his hands, he's kind of just, like, drumming it, like, on the desk. And as you look, like, very closely with your sight, you can see very specifically there's, like, ghostly, um, threads that are almost, oh. like, uh, attached to his, like, fingers. They're, they're, like, imperceptible, though. It's almost like a magician's, uh, wire there. Okay, so you said in the beginning mm -hmm. there was a shit ton of ghosts in this nursing home, right? Yeah. Are there any in his room? We'll say that there's some close by, yeah. But in his room? Sure, yeah. What, what do you got? Well, okay. I just wanted to know if the ghosts were even sus of this man or not, but if not, then okay. Um... <laughs> Does the string look like it's moving with his fingers or it's just like wrapped around his fingers? Yeah, you can see that like, it's almost like there, there's like individual strings wrapped around his like fingers themselves. Um, like almost he's like, the puppeteer. Yeah. <laughs> that. I don't like that. Okay. I move over. Does he have a hearing aid? We can say he does. Okay. I move out of the hallway just a little bit and, you know, uh, signal Susie and Pixie to follow me real quick and we whisper really quietly so he doesn't hear us. 
he's the one in control of the thing. Of the nut. <laughs> Why? What did you understand? So, the mascot thing earlier had like these weird little ghost stitches and that's what I cut it with with a knife. I looked at his fingers, he's moving his fingers and there's strings attached to him. What so, do these strings lead to? Like, are, I, are they attached to something else? I'm gonna assume it's attached to like people's fears or that thing. Like he's the one controlling it. That's that's my theory. I don't know exactly, but I think that's what's happening. So like, um, there's no clear end to them. Like they they start from his fingers, but then they don't arrive anywhere visible. Is that right? She shrugs. I I don't know how it works. I just know he's controlling it, and we need to stop him. So that's for sure. I don't like that. I don't want to assault an old man, even though Izzy really does, but... <laughs> um, we can cut his strings and then, I think, talking to him, I think he might be doing this as like a, I don't know, like a last thing to do if his book didn't sell, you know? I, I feel like he could be reasonable, sort of. Okay. Who else is good at charms other than me? Like charming people. You are Susie? Uh no. Oh, okay. Pixie, are you I I'm good at keeping my cool. Got it. Okay. <laughs> I guess Yeah, me too. Follow my lead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> we go back in. Okay. I have a question for you, sir. Um, you were married, and she looks at the wedding ring that I'm assuming those that's the hand he's strumming with. Yeah, as uh, he, he just kind of says, yeah, at one point. What was her name? Uh, Delilah. Emma. <laughs> okay, fuck you. No, not Delilah. Never Delilah. Bye. Okay, Emma. Mm hmm. How did she die? She didn't. Oh. Where is she? Um, she. He, he just kind of looks down as he says away. She wants nothing to do with me. Why? Do you guys really have time to be just asking all yes. these questions over here, or...? Yes. Sounds like an interesting story. Uh, that's definitely a role of manipulating someone. <laughs> 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 okay. Make success, he'll do it if you give him a reason why, as yeah, he'll specifically just ask you like, why are you so insistent about learning everything about me? Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. You answer my questions, and I will read your future. I have an idea. Yeah, fuck. I need to see where this is going. Okay. Is this going to be like the fucking big brain outplay of the century, or this is going to crash and burn in like three seconds? Absolutely. And I need to know which it is. <laughs> As uh, he says, I was focused on my writing. Went on a lot of book tours, and eventually she thought that uh, I cared more about the books than I did her. Did you only write one book, or did you write multiple books? Just the one. Now, uh, what's my future supposed to be? Give me your hand, and I'll read your palm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Christ, um, 
Yeah, no. I, again, need to see where this is going. <laughs> As he, he does uh, hold out his palm. Which one? The one with the ring on it? With the thing with the stitchies? Hmm? No, his other hand. <laughs> I want the other one. Why? Are you supposed to be able to read palms on both hands? Actually, your right hand tells you your past and your trauma. Your left hand tells you your future. And that is true. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, he, he holds out uh, his left hand. What are okay. you going to try and do? <laughs> grab the, the, the strings. You're going to try and grab the strings? Okay. <laughs> and I want to try and rip them out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. With Roll. magic. <laughs> oh yeah, so there's then there's no blood. Roll use magic. I'm so nervous. I'm using a luck point. I'm not doing this. Who? Okay. This is bad. <laughs> this okay. is getting really bad. <laughs> How many luck points were used against this person? Oh, really? I hate yeah, a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, goodness, goodness. Oh, yikes. Yikes. Here's what I'm going to, to say. Um, you grab the, uh, the, the strings. Um, as you, you do so, you're now, like, holding them, like, in your hands. As you can feel it, like, resonating with your magic. What the fuck? Me yeah, as you can feel like the the strings in your hand, he also looks like genuinely shocked. Um, as he uh, he he looks at you, um, as uh, he says, you can see the strings. Yeah. Um, and I don't know what the fuck you're doing with it. You can feel it like it's almost like an electrical pulse that's like in your hands. What the fuck? I don't like strings. that. <laughs> Yeah, because I don't want this fucker doing anything with them. I don't know what well, they I'm do. Under pressure. I don't. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's uh, uh, where the fuck is that? Uh, this not a luck point. Uh, why? <laughs> We're good. I I can't. Use another, I cannot use another luck point. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh god. Um. Cool, cool. Uh, act under pressure. Um, on a seven to nine, keeper's gonna give you a worse outcome, hard choice, or price to pay. Um, the price to pay is you're definitely going to, if you want to hold on to these and keep holding on to them, um, you can feel the magic like beginning to dissipate. But if you do so, you're going to take two harm. And, I'll take uh, that. Okay, <laughs> you you do so as um, you uh, do, do, do uh, Susie and Pixie. You can see Mandy's hand like there's like a little bit of like blood that begins to like drip from it. It's like there's a cut that just like forms on her hand from some invisible force. On a piano string. Oh shit. Mhm. Mm it's beginning to dissipate though, but as it like begins to dissipate, like you can feel like a dark presence, like slowly kind of coming over you. Do you continue to hold the strings? Can I ask him questions while I'm holding this? Okay, you, you can ask him some some questions real quick, but you do have to make a decision no, like, at some point. We'll go with like well, you can ask him one question before well, you need to make that decision if you keep holding it or not. What? Uh, hold on. Let me think. Sorry, I'm trying to think. What would be a good question to ask for this? This clown music scaring the shit out of me. <laughs> honk honk. No. <laughs> what is your goal here? My goal here? Uh, let's go with we'll manipulate someone. <laughs> what the f? Sure. Quit making me roll shit. <laughs> wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. I have a question. I have a question. Yeah. So, 
I actually have telepathy. I can read people's thoughts and I can put words into their mind. Is there any way that I can read his mind, like the true answer? Manipulate someone again, and uh, that one's going to be just like at least a mixed success. I'll give you. Some. Yeah, not, not too high. Yeah. Okay, mixed success, great. Um, with a mixed success, so what, what is the thought you're pl you're planting that thought of like what's the end goal here? Yes. Okay. Um, you see like a bit of like a vision like uh, in his mind as he you, you can see like a there's like a, a news report of like all these strange like attacks that have been happening all throughout this town and it seems to be tied to this like specific book um the uh the book that he managed to to write and you can see in that way like his book has finally become properly famous, famous. Like, around the globe what a piece of shit I still hold on to the strings. Okay. Roll me one more act under pressure to no! see if you can fully let the strings dissipate. Um as you can feel like your you, your powers are like beginning to, to activate like more and more as like at this point like you can slowly see like flames beginning to like glow on your your hands themselves like flames dark uh, flames yeah Susie and Pixie sitting here just like yes yeah, well. Susie and Pixie you do see those like those please help <laughs> my coolest child yeah. I was wondering, what are we seeing exactly? Yeah, you see Mandy, like, beginning to, like, double over in pain as her her, her hands are, like, alight with a black fire. What the fuck? <laughs> and we see him doing nothing, because we don't see the streets, right? Yeah, you, you see Jack not doing anything particular besides just, like, he's just looking, like, confused. He clearly has no idea what's about to happen either. Matt mentioned the strings there, right? Yes, I did, before this okay. happened. Uh, I think then, uh, seeing Matt be in trouble, it, it's just, like, that's, that's the priority for, uh, Pixie. And I'd like to summon my try hand there. Um... You're so quiet. <laughs> you, you summon your weapon? Yeah, I summon my weapon. Um, I'll big entrance, um, just in case there is something here. Mm -hmm. And, uh... Uh, then I'd like to attempt to cut above the hand where I think strings might be. That's fair. <laughs> Fuck you, I know it's risky. Go but... ahead and roll for your big entrance, right? Uh, what do you got to roll? Uh, give me a second. I was adjusting my sound. Yeah, I'll roll big entrance. I roll mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, roll plus cool. Ooh. Oh, baby. Ooh. Oh, no. Nice. You can just imagine her set there, like, seething, you know, and then... Like, nope, enough. Fuck yeah. Yeah, so wait, what was your speech exactly? Uh, she's like seeing like Manny in trouble and she's like, that's it. You do not hurt my girlfriend and summons a big old rainbow sword. Yes. And as you say that, you can see that like those black flames begin to kind of like grow, grow up of, uh, of uh, Mandy's arms as they begin to form like a figure in like the flames. Very similar to Logan's and very similar to uh, to Anjali's glitch monster. Oh and no! You can hear it just like rasp out to you just like but we yearn to be free. We are Mandy. We are what she really is. As at this point, you're going to cut the strings? Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. What the <laughs> fuck? What? Roll <laughs> kicks and ass. Oh I hate this so much. Wait, do I need to roll to hold on to the string still, or is this happening first? No, that it, this could this could cancel out the okay. uh, your act under pressure. I want to know. Okay. Mixed success. Mixed, mixed. On a mixed success, you kick some ass, but uh, you also get your ass kicked too. 
you make like this cut as uh, um, Mandy, you can see like the strings are like properly cut from like your, uh, your hand. As uh, you uh, um, you do so though, you can see like the flame monster on like Mandy's back just fire out like this flame bolt towards you, Pixie, as it hits you dead center mm. for two arm. Ooh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is big. But the flames begin to like slowly like die out and like sink back into Mandy as you regain control of yourself. Meanwhile, downstairs, you guys, as you can see like the um the 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 clowns uh, around you guys, um there were three of them, and like uh, all of a sudden, like the clowns just begin to like just they they're just like stuck in place, almost as if frozen. Before you can see, like there's like small black aura that like envelopes them. Before all of a sudden, they just flop back to the ground. Um, and uh, as soon as they like hit the ground, they just kind of like uh, slowly begin to to disappear into to smoke. What? You you did it. <laughs> what am I saying? Awesome. The every problem. One shot. <laughs> How did you do it? Did you see That's that? Amazing. I think I might have too. I've never seen you know, you're so skilled. <laughs> oh my I'm, god. Okay, shotgun. You gotta admit it. it. It's it's been useful. We gotta carry it around more often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't shoot again. It's not silent anymore. Um, I see, like, looking at my shoddy work on the side of his uh, shotgun. Um, and, uh, it did uh, help, though. It didn't scare anyone. Yeah. Um, can we turn to the receptionist? Yeah. You, you can see that, like, she's beginning to, to calm down. She's, like, taking, like, heaving breaths as she, like, looks around and says, what, what the hell was that? I think it's a gas leak. Uh, Some kind of uh, hallucination, maybe? I don't know. I saw it. Yeah. Again. Same. <laughs> she nods, that being a more convenient answer than dealing with all of that crazy nonsense. Oh, God. This um, is a toy gun. <laughs> yeah, she's still complete. Yeah, she's still delirious and accepts that, sure. <laughs> God. Um, we'll cut back upstairs to, to wrap this up then. Oh god. As Pixie, you begin to like pick yourself up from the ground. Like you, you do have like a decent amount of burns and like you're feeling pretty hurt from that like big hit there. And wow. Mandy, you realize what well kinda you just did. Is the monster gone away? Yeah, mm -hmm. went yeah, back the, the flame Mandy. Is kind of like Yeah. That. Okay. And the Old man there, I don't remember his name. He's doing nothing still. He's yeah, he's there. Yeah, how does he react to this shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, he's like. like... <laughs> uh, let's go with this. He looks towards you, Mandy, and just kind of says, hmm. So, you're like me, huh? Well, what does that even mean? What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Magic. <laughs> God. What do you mean, like you? Fated to hurt people. I mean, you see for yourself, right? Ooh. Fuck you, Shiva. <laughs> <laughs> she just slowly gets herself up, probably really weak from all that shit, like blood dripping out of her arms. <laughs> I you know, don't hurt people because that's my fate. I will fight with every bone in my fucking body to not hurt people if I can help it. And Does he, he just still have the threads on his fingers or are they gone? The threads are gone. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. Do you have them, Mandy, now? I don't know. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> you you look down at your hands, the, the threads have been cut. They, okay, they're okay. no longer there. Okay, okay. Yeah, they disappeared. That's good to hear. <laughs> yeah. Um, as he, he goes on to say, um, <laughs> I think that uh, you all should probably be uh, making yourself scarce about now. 
think you should watch yourself, sir. This sword isn't for show. And I don't trust you. We've got our eye on you, okay? He... I will make sure you get no pudding for the next month. Guide. <laughs> 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 But he just smiles as, assuming you guys retreat, this would be a very, very good stuff. Yeah, what point. the fuck? <laughs> what? I think, like, as Pixie goes out, she holds, like, Mandy's hand just as, like, a silent affirming of, like, I forgive you, you know, like, Aww. I still trust you. She squeezes back. That's cute as fuck. And I'm sad because this is, I feel like this is gonna be real bad. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I give and you guys... Susie a fist bump of solidarity for being there for yeah. with me. <laughs> for sure. We'll figure yeah. this out. God. I um, like how everyone's like, yeah, people did it. <laughs> yeah. And to, to wrap things up, as you guys uh, exit and hop into the car, I'm assuming, Mandy, you panic, just kind of try to read the last third of the, the book itself, just to gain any more insights onto what the fuck it is you're facing again. So I think find. it's not only just that, but it's her, like, trying desperately to distract herself mm -hmm. because she's about to fucking break down. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, uh, the last bit of important information you, uh, you know, um, you, the entirety of the book is all about, like, these high schoolers and, like, them trying to deal with the Sokaneth. Um, and the last the half of the book itself is all about, as these high schoolers thinking that they finally defeated the Beast, they go to their school dance as the Beast once again emerges there. And, well, from there, it's the slaughter. As I think that's where we're going to end today. What the fuck? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just oh a the... Wait, so this whole thing, this whole book, <laughs> this boring ass book was a premonition? Like it did like he fucking saw the future? Well, maybe not seeing the future, or maybe he's just trying to make the events sort of happen. <laughs> What a piece of shit. How dare he pick on these poor random teenagers? God. As yeah, we'll, we'll end tonight's session there. <laughs>